Harrison Mill Bridge used for transportation for humans across Mills Rock Creek, but it is the melting pot for nature, as you can see. Now, I'm terrified of bugs, but we're going to still take this nature walk because my producer said so. So I'm going to take you on this walk. Let's go, guys. Okay guys, please excuse my little beats of sweat. It's really hot out here, but I'm enjoying this nature walk as much as I don't like bugs. But anyway, we're standing underneath, as you can see in the back, Harrelson Mill Bridge, Covered Bridge. Um, we are standing at the Rockdale River, which expands, it's a beautiful expansion of water, but it's a beautiful trail, you gotta come check it out. You can go hiking, camping, uh, they doing, I believe they're doing some tree climbing. All right, you guys, this heat is really getting to me. But I took out my fan and I'm ready to go. So I'm going to check out this trail. You stay tuned to Metro Life. Welcome to Metro Cooking, and I'm your girl, Nicole Crowley. We're sitting here with some of the sisters of Sisters Family Restaurant. Please introduce yourself. I'm Kimberly King. I'm number two sister. I'm Casey, I'm number three. And I'm Darlene, and I'm the last one. Okay, what makes this so special, this restaurant so special? Because we're a family, and we've done this a long time together, and we love what we do, and we love this store. And we're gonna put our heart and soul in the food, and the service we give you is gonna be awesome every time. And when and I tell consistent. You, really, when yeah. I tell you get the family feel when you walk in here, mm -hmm. it's family. There's kids walking around, they're helping out, and I'm assuming mm -hmm. that those are family members yeah, also. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they'll be yeah. already done tables and cleaning tables. They know exactly what to do. Whatever age, they know how to do this. And they've done it since they were like real little. I love the fact that it's sisters and it's family, but most sisters cannot get along. How do you guys do it? Very carefully. <laughs> We've been um, doing it a long time, yeah. so it's just... Yeah. And our mom keeps us in line. Yeah. She runs a tight ship. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> Granny. Granny don't play. <laughs> she don't key. play. My mom's okay. usually always here too. What is the special item on your menu? Uh, we the have a special? sister special, mm. so which is best. only seven ninety nine. You get bacon or sausage. You get two eggs, your choice, however you want to cook. You get hash browns. You get grits and toast, or biscuit and gravy. You get a pancake. You are or you hungry? Toast. <laughs> and it's all cooked with love. I promise you, you'll love it. And oh, we yeah, also have really good country fried steak too. We sell right. most of that. Our country for fried steak's a big seller. It's really so, good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited. excited. Yeah. I think I want to taste this sister plate. Oh, you're gonna love you it. You want her to yeah. make you one? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Up quick. How you guys got started? What oh, gave man. you this idea? We've been doing this since I was like 12, and really? I'm 37. Awesome. And it's a really a long story. I could kind of write a book about it because you should. I mean, my mom, she, you know, she didn't finish school, but this guy gave her a chance to own a restaurant. Okay. Because she was good at managing. Mm. She was good at running stores. So he's like, you want to own a store? She's like, yeah. So that's kind of basically how we got started. Wow. 
we he, had he a, give her a house. chance. And it's so amazing that all you guys came together with the same vision, the same purpose, the same hunger as family to do this. Awesome. I, I mean, love it. I feel like if you get to work with your family every day, then you can't be any more blessed than that. Absolutely. Sure that is the best blessing. We're right. very lucky to be together every day. Some families can't be together. They don't have family. They don't have nobody that cares, but we care about each other. And you put all we that really care. love each other, and we're really yeah. best friends. Yeah. yeah. We, one person's going through something, we're going all, all through together. something. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. So, I mean, we just put a lot of love in here. Well, just for a little really fun fact, fun, huh? how many nep nieces and nephews do you guys have? 30 something. <laughs> 30 35? 33. There's a bunch. Oh my God. Oh, and we wanted to give you something too. Sure. We wanted to give you a sister shirt, official sister shirt. That's right. So sister, you get to sister. be a sister. I'm going to be a sister, <laughs> yeah. sister, guys. Yeah, that's Look at right. This. Awesome. You Thank you so much, my sister. Look at this. You're a sister. I'm going to put on my sister shirt <laughs> with my sister plate. Right. Right. And sister right. family restaurant. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. You get this full feel of love when we walk in. We appreciate we love it. it. Thank you. Oh, oh yummy. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Sister. Yeah. 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 This is my sister. This is one of our sisters, Danielle. Hi, Danielle. And one of my How nieces, Savannah. Hi, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Again, family. Yeah, like look at this. This looks amazing. Can you see this? Okay, so guys, I'm gonna take an example. I'm gonna let you know how this is. <laughs> we actually we put a lot of sausage in our sausage gravy too, so you get that full sausage flavor mm -hmm. with it. I love home fries. They're my favorite. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Everybody loves the biscuit and no, gravy. Really Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Look at Yum. that. Are you a lefty? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm eating with my mouth full. That's how good it is. <laughs> <laughs> Donna Rainey. I'm one of the co-owners of the Paw Stand here in Doraville, Georgia. I've been working here um, almost about two years. We are about to celebrate our second year anniversary. I wanted to do something very unique and different as in uh, helping our community as well as helping our pets be healthier, stronger, live longer, and so I talked with my business partner, uh, Jennifer Andre, and we came up with the Paw Stand concept of opening our own store and make everyone happy, basically, and try to help out our community. So we're a community-minded business. Uh, we have all natural pet foods, toys, um, accessories, supplements, and we're, uh, we, we pride ourselves in being a small business and supporting small businesses as well. A lot of our products are small businesses and local businesses. Um, Jennifer received her canine certification um, prior to us opening and it was her passion because she had rehabilitated her own pet so we came together and combinated, did a combination of what we believed in, and here we are at the Paw Stand. trouble standing up on her back legs. She tends to walk forward with her front legs, but she tends to walk sideways with her rear. So we've been working with her owner, Diana, and University of Georgia to see if she could independently use her back legs um, that she might be a candidate to have surgery to correct the knee. So we're getting ready to get in the underwater treadmill. 
and get her using her back legs. So the underwater treadmill is a great tool because we can get enough water up underneath her to take about 50% of her body weight off of her joints, which makes it a lot easier for her to move. So she's not battling gravity quite as much. So we're getting ready to put her in there. And she's, I think she might be a great candidate to have that knee corrected because she does appear to be independently using her back legs. Um, so we'll see what happens when we, when Diana follows back up with the University of Georgia. At first, when I started working with her in there, she was not using her back right leg, but the more we've put her in the treadmill and, and helped her move the leg, now she's starting to use it independently. And we feel like if she could get a successful surgery through University of Georgia um, and get her legs about the same length in the back, which is part of the problem because the right leg is shortened so she can't get both legs down in order to walk straight with her back legs and her front legs. Um, so I've been patterning her in the underwater treadmill to get her to start using that leg and now she does get that right leg up underneath her and uses it independently. It, and she's gotten to where she likes it more and more. We had more water in here with her initially, but she was using the float vest and floating her back legs and not using them. So we gradually started taking a little bit of water out to give her more weight bearing. So I'm just going to bring her up here and we're going to start the build. Let's see where we're at. what we do at the paw stand, um, we are a pet-centric environment. We are here to help people with conditions that their pets have. Um, the rehab and fitness are part of the whole um, concept that we have. The retail area, we are very um, passionate about nutrition. Donna had her own pet sitting business for about eight or nine years and saw some of the food that people were feeding their pets and they were coming down with a lot of conditions that were, we felt, food related, nutrition related. Um, so we carry all natural pet foods, dog, cat, uh, foods, treats, accessories. Um, we do have the pets, the self-serve dog spas where we provide everything for the owners to come and clean their pets. And then the canine rehab and fitness is for pets who maybe have an, have an injury or have a condition where we can use the underwater treadmill. I also have cold laser. Um, cold laser helps with tissue healing. Cold laser is a modality that we use in rehab that helps the um, tissue heal on a cellular level and helps the, the cell turn itself over and heal faster. So it's a great adjunct to what we do with the underwater treadmill. Um, the underwater treadmill is a great tool because you can make the dog more buoyant by by putting water up underneath her, taking about 50% of her body weight off her joints. So if a dog is struggling to move or if the dog is overweight and has trouble moving, it just makes it that much easier for them to, to use their legs. And it's much easier for her to advance her limbs in here because she, she doesn't have all of the weight on, on her joints. Welcome back to Metro Life. 
This segment is called Metro Profiling. I am your girl, Nicole Crowley, and we're sitting here today with Mr. Jerry Adams from Optimus Entertainment Group. Please, Jerry, give us a little bit about your company and what you're doing today. Well, sure. My name is Jerry Adams. I'm with OEG. I'm the CEO and president, actually, of uh, OEG, Optimus Entertainment Group, and we're based here in Atlanta, and we work with a lot of uh, artists in the entertainment industry, be yes. it uh, R&B as well as the gospel community, but primarily gospel artists. Very nice. Okay. And what artists have you worked with? What are you guys doing? Well, actually, I, I'm currently working with an artist by the name of Damon Little. Some of you guys may know him. Uh, he had a record, <laughs> well, several records. He went, had a record going number one called I Won't Be Defeated. Uh, I used to be uh, the general manager over at Worldwide Gospel out of uh, Houston, Texas, which had artists like Keith Wonderboy, Evelyn Turrentine, A.G., nice. Greg O'Quinn. Okay. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. We work with quite a few artists in the industry. And what are you guys doing in, in the community here in Atlanta? Well, actually, we partner with different churches. Uh, right now, my own particular church, mm -hmm. Word of Faith, out here in Atlanta. Shout out to Dale Bronner, our pastor and bishop. Uh, he has a wonderful initiative Hi, that he's doing. <laughs> right, he's doing <laughs> called. He has done pretty much in the community called Ignite, okay. which basically target uh, our youth because it's a systemic problem out there in the industry. Well, out in the world, actually, I said the industry, I'm so used to saying that, but actually out here in the world where we're dealing with our youth that are like lost, their, their identity and things Absolutely. of that nature, and they're really just looking for an opportunity uh, to really be who they want to be, uh, but really having some type of guidance of some sort, and we try to provide Absolutely. that. So some of the events that we work with uh, pretty much support that. That theology, okay. That's, I'm trying to help them. That's wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful. Um, can you give us examples of what you have done so far? Different events you've done in the past, or oh wow, yes, Ooh, so so many. I've done. I've worked with uh, Soft Sheen uh, with uh, the No Crime Day in the Chicago Initiative, uh, the Martin Luther King uh, event that happens in Liberty City down there in Miami, where we had over ten or fifteen thousand people in the, in the park at one time. Uh, we currently, I've mentioned Ignite. Uh, a program where basically I'm one serve as one of the facilitators, talking to the youth. I mean, on the grounds, boots on the ground. Uh, the list goes on and on. And on. We have uh, the Gospel Mix Tour that we just come off of last year. Okay. Uh, uh, shout out to Miss Carrie Douglas who put that thing together. Uh, actually having us on as producers and actually working hands on with putting those artists on stage and making sure that it's quality based. Uh, sometimes you go to certain uh, performances and. Things are all over the place, starting late and this kind of stuff. So I'm that person or our company comes in and we help to try to facilitate that in a professional manner as much as possible. Wonderful. I know you told me you're dealing with youth and off camera you told us that you are married with children. Yes. Now, do your children yes, yes. actually come in and help being that you are doing stuff in the community for children and for youth? Yeah, I have my daughter. She basically, uh, I think last year she tried to work a little bit with behind the nice. scenes. You okay. know, some online stuff, you know. So, uh, but just that's three children. Uh, that's just one son and two, two daughters. So basically they're in different cities than Atlanta, but okay. they do help when we call. You know, Absolutely. So. And which they're supposed to. Yeah, <laughs> right, 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 definitely. So you mentioned boots on the ground. Could you please tell us a little bit more about that? Well, I can give you give you some some just one of many a different scenarios, a synopsis of what I mean by that. Uh, that is where I, I'm out on a concert. I'm on I'm out on tour. I mean, it's really a, a big tour, and I was. Uh, in the Virginia area and I mean literally there was an older lady who was really 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 suffering uh, from a financial crisis okay. and so happened we had uh, one of my national artists uh, with me and he was out the minister and, and the Spirit of God spoke to him at that particular time and he was able to go out and bless that lady uh, that really 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 looked at you know that happens a lot where I'm dealing with. There's, there's also a place I was in North Carolina also, a young girl was at one of the concerts and she literally came up to the artist and said, hey, I really am contemplating killing myself. Oh wow. I really, I'm, I, I don't think I'm worth anything. And we stopped our production literally right there as we were doing our, our commerce and stuff there at the church. Uh, and he really took time and we took time out for prayer and really reached that young lady and she's right now, she calls and she emails and checks Wonderful. in with us and she's really alive and thriving today. So to me, that does my heart well because I go out, I go away from my family and I'm out on those roads. I'm going but from Washington, helping. New York. Yeah, yeah, you're helping them. You, you can see that. Now, when you get to a point where you want to take your own life, mm -hmm. my God, I mean, it just really, just really, it just really does something to you. So I think that what God does for me in my ministry, and I call it a ministry because it's a, it's a labor of, of the heart. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not always paid the best, mm -hmm. but it's not so much in the monetary gain, it's in what God 
and has changing a, a lot yeah, of the young lady of touched her life. life. Yes, Absolutely. touched that older lady's life mm -hmm. as well. So I like to just think of those moments. That's my fuel, if okay. you will. What keeps me going? With it? Mr. Adams, why are you still out here? Uh, those are the reasons why. And I just, uh, I just feel compelled to, to, to really be a part of organizations or, or any event of some sort that's going to be a blessing. You mentioned getting the ball rolling in independent film. Do you have anything upcoming or anything you're doing with the youths? Yeah, well, definitely. We, we just partnered with a, a company by the name of Gotti. Okay. Uh, they're here based in Atlanta. And what they're doing with their initiative is to actually get at risk youth okay. off the streets and actually teach Wonderful. them film how to edit, you know, how to take, you know, photography and things of that Wonderful. nature. So we're hands on with that. We're definitely uh, looking forward to even greater things in the near future as it relates to that. Uh, partnering with some, some wonderful people here in the Atlanta market okay. as it relates to that. So and you'll be able to teach, you'll be teaching the kids to hands on, behind, hands on behind yes, the film. Hands wonderful. on with editing and I mean camera, nice. you name it, audio. Nice. Uh, we just want to give them an, an alternative to just being on the streets. Absolutely. Love That's it. always the key. Idea. That's always key. It's always key. So we love to think of ourselves as being instrumental in that. And we have different platforms around the city that mm -hmm. uh, we allow the youth to perform uh, positive messages, inspirational messages. Uh, not sending the message of death and destruction, okay. but actually uh, uplifting. Okay. Yes. Nice. That's beautiful. That's the key. So again, I I really feel that that's heart's work for me. And Thank you so much, Jerry Adams, for sitting with us today. We You're enjoyed welcome. your company. We look forward to seeing what you have coming up or what Optimus yes. Entertainment Group will be doing in their future. Yeah. Hi, welcome to Metro Style, and I am Nicole. We are here today with Louisiana's very own The Showers. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Tabitha. Hi, I'm Titus. Regina. And Melody. Unfortunately, it's 10 of us, but all of us were not able to be here with you guys today. But we just came as a quartet on today. All right. So what brings you guys to Atlanta? We come to sing and to mingle with the other gospel industry people nice. and just reintroduce ourselves, put a face with the name and let them know that, hey, the showers is on they the way. put a face with the name, guys. Yeah. Look out for them. Sorry. And we're, we're here celebrating the 50th year of the Gospel Music Workshop nice. of America Absolutely. and to showcase our new single, I Belong to You. Absolutely. Hmm. So could we get a little bit of that new single? Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah, Lord, we adore you, cause I belong to you. Hey, yes, I belong to you. Man, oh man. Beautiful. Now, okay, I love gospel music. I know a little bit about music, but tell me what's called scrawling. Scrawling? Oh, it's so like a growl, like a lion growl. Gina knows how to do uh -huh. it. Oh, Papisha does that. A little bit? Yeah, 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 a little yeah. bit? Okay, can I hear it? Gina got it. Oh! Uh, that was <laughs> a little bit more. Oh! Like, you know, it comes from a deep inner place. Like, oh, it's a squall. Like, hey, it's you're like, giving it your all. Growl. Right, got it. Come from the inner, innermost. Nice. Well, what, 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 tell me how it sounds. Do it again. I just did it. Well, do it again. I wasn't oh, feeling it. Oh, yeah. Stuff like <laughs> that. That come from the belly. It come from the belly. You got to really go <laughs> get it. Absolutely. Okay, so what is called, if I could... Squall it. No. What you mean? The other genres like quartet What's, and stuff okay, like that. Okay, some quartet. Yeah, I feel you. Mm, I wonder. Ooh, anybody here? Late in the midnight, shed crying and tears. Oh, children, down. Death is no stranger to anyone. Oh, oh, oh Lord. Hey, but if you just oh, stay in the fall, you don't have to worry. Death comes knocking on your door. Just ask Jesus to be a fence around you and protect you every day. Every, every day. Hmm. 
you gotta just have me feel like I'm part of you guys too, you know. You, you are, you are, you are. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Now give us a fun fact about the showers. Fun fact, I'm everybody's favorite. Young Tate. Um, <laughs> and I mean, it's, a, it's a fact that it's 10 of us, same mom, same dad, you know, and that's lots of fun. Wait a minute, you, know. you guys are family. Absolutely, sisters and brothers. Beautiful. Absolutely. So how long have you guys been singing together? Hmm. Good question. I ain't gonna call nobody age, but you know. <laughs> but it started off with my oldest sister, which is to your right, Regina. Okay. And then, you know, my brother started Beautiful. singing as well. Mm -hmm. And then it just as we became, you know, as we were created, you know, we started singing. forming this wonderful group, the showers. And um my brother was the lead singer at the one time, and then it passed on to me and I'm just mm -hmm. elated to have this opportunity to share nice. my gift. And how long have you guys been singing together? Mm. Collectively, oh, well over 20 years. Mm -hmm. And on a national level, maybe four. Nice, yes. congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> well, we're excited to see what you guys will be doing here in Atlanta. And we look forward to seeing you guys more. Mm -hmm. In preparation for this interview today, I was doing some research. I went to you guys' social media and I saw that you guys went through something really tragic recently, very recently, and that you were there. Was your parents' home that burned down? Absolutely, Randall? absolutely. I don't um, mean to, to strike a nerve, but can you please elaborate okay. a little bit? It's okay. Um, on March the 2nd, um, my parents' house caught a fire. Um, I was there actually sleeping at the time. Gosh. My parents just got in from um, New Mexico um, at, at the Four Hour National Baptist Convention of America. And um, we were just at home. I just got off work. I came home to take a nap and I was sleeping at my parents' home. My dad was out cut, cutting the grass. And um, all of a sudden, he seen something sparking a blaze in the back patio. So he came up and, and he yelled, fire, fire. The patio was right by the room that I sleep in. And I didn't hear the lawnmower crank, but I did hear my dad holler, fire, fire. And so that awakened me. And I immediately stormed through the house to find out who was, if was anybody there. My mom was there. She was on the phone, actually, with my sister Tabitha. And um, so I made sure I go upstairs to make sure everybody was out. And everything was just like too late, you know. Nobody was home. We got out. Everybody got out. Amen. The cars were lost. Our clothes, all of our materialistic things were gone. But we do have our lives. So we are thankful for that each and every day of our lives. We want to send our sympathy to you guys and Absolutely. we apologize for that. Oh, oh it's, it happens. It happened to Job. He lost what he had, but God gave him bigger and better. Amen. And so we are looking for bigger and better things to come. From. And you guys have your family and that connection. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And brought us closer together. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's an example of how tragedy can bring you close together as a family. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, hold on tight to that. And my dad always uh, state this. He says tragedy can make you bitter or, or better. better. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. I 100% agree. <laughs> Guys, the showers are the real deal. Thank you so much for joining us. You stay tuned to Metrolite.